Gestational diabetes is a type of diabetes which comes during pregnancy. In India, the prevalence is very high. In urban Chennai, for example, almost 20 to 25 percent of women have gestational diabetes. To tackle this problem with the support of the Abbott Fund and the International Diabetes Federation, our Madras Diabetes Research Foundation took up a major project called as WINGS Project. WING stands for Women in India with GDM Strategy. More than 2,000 women were screened for gestational diabetes and all those who had gestational diabetes were treated using a new model of care which was developed through the WINGS Project. I'm very happy to say that the results have been quite spectacular and these women achieved outcomes which are very similar to women who did not have GDM. More importantly, 96% of the women came back for follow-up, which is a record of sorts. There have been a lot of learnings through the WINGS project, a lot of tools have been developed as a result of the WINGS project, and all these will be presented at a major international update on gestational diabetes mellitus, a conference which is going to be conducted tomorrow and day after tomorrow at Hotel Hilton. At, at 10.45 tomorrow, the health secretary will be inaugurating this conference. More than 400 doctors have already registered for this congress, and we have faculty coming from all parts of India and from many parts of the world, including the famous Dr. Donald Couston, who is considered as the father of gestational diabetes. He is also there and he'll be giving a lecture at this uh, meeting. We also have representatives of the International Diabetes Federation, the World Health Organization, the American Diabetes Association, and many, many national associations who will be participating in this. We'll be presenting the results of the WINGS project, first to the government of Tamil Nadu and then to the Ministry of uh, Health of the Indian government so that the messages learned from WINGS project can be disseminated all over India and later this year at the International Diabetes Federation Congress at Vancouver these results will be presented at two sessions, one in the main Congress and one through a satellite meeting to the whole world so that what has been done here in Chennai at the Madras Diabetes Research Foundation through the WINGS project can be disseminated all over the world. So we're very happy that we've been part of making history as far as gestational diabetes is concerned. Hi, Andy Wilson with Abbott Fund. We're very happy to support innovative models that help um, bring gestational diabetes to the forefront. Uh, Abbott Fund supports people's health at every stage of life. Um, hi, my name is Dr. Anjana and I'm the Joint Managing Director and Consultant Diabetologist at Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Specialty Center. And today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about gestational diabetes and the WINGS project which has been done in association with the International Diabetes Federation. So why did we go ahead and do this project? Well, we all know that gestational diabetes can lead to a lot of complications if not treated both for the mother as well as for the baby. We also know that those with gestational diabetes have an increased risk of developing full-blown type 2 diabetes in the future. So the reason that we did this project, which is called as WINGS, is to see whether by giving active management or intervening, a thing that we call the model of care, or MOC, we can actually prevent all of these complications and see whether the mother with GDM or gestational diabetes can have a normal delivery and, and none of the other complications. So what we did in this project, in the WINGS project, in this MOC is to provide education, counselling as well as support for the mother. So screening was one of the first aspects of the study, followed by diet advice, physical activity advice, active monitoring and use of appropriate insulin and medications. So with this, what has happened, what we found is that there is no increase in complication rate. In fact, there is no risk at all to the mother. The, the outcome for both the mother as well as the baby is equivalent to a lady who's pregnant but without gestational diabetes. So that is a very significant finding and that's a very successful finding in which we can show that due to this model of care, there is no extra risk for the mother with gestational diabetes and it's as equal or on par to a pregnant woman without gestational diabetes.